praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 18, there Apostle Paul was addressing the church at Corinth, and he said he prays in tongues more than the whole church. That tells you that Apostle Paul majored very much in praying in tongues. To the glory of God, I got baptized with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues in the month of August 1978. That's about 45 years ago. And ever since then, every day I engage in praying in tongues. Praying in tongues is very powerful. I want to pray for you in the Spirit. I want to pray for you in tongues. And then I will pray in understanding. You loa fa writing ga hoki la juluri. Iriefe lang ga domitinga and amosufin de kan domitunge la patana. Riduku mati platelelo gongamina hilia. In Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit Divine, I've asked you to intercede on behalf of my listener. I've asked you to touch this particular person at the point of the person's need. Let there be tremendous transformation, strange miracles, healing, deliverances, and comfort in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. We are waiting to hear your testimony. Moments ago, while I was still in prayers, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about the lives of some of our listeners. I say a big amen and amen to this one. I believe I will also be a recipient. The Lord told me that He will open your eyes to see opportunities where other people are overlooking. I wanted to touch your eyes, and I want to pray for you. Father in heaven, I ask you will open the eyes of this person, that from now this person will begin to see opportunities where many people overlook, and grant this person the empowerment to make use of those opportunities for progress in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and Amen. Wow. We are waiting to hear your testimony. Who is this? You are a nursing mother. You still have a baby. But you have a problem. Your breast milk is not flowing much. And it's been giving you a lot of concern. Well, get a glass of water or a bottle of water. And let me use it to pray for you. Lord in heaven, Holy Spirit breaks into this bottle of water, this glass of water. Immediately, this nursing mother drinks it. Let our breast milk begin to flow adequately to feed this her baby. Thank you for doing it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Well, go ahead and try it. Go ahead and test it. You will find out that this time around, your breast milk will be flowing adequately in feeding that baby. We are waiting to hear your testimony also. Oh my God, who is this person? This has been your experience now for four weeks. You are hearing strange noise in your ears. I see the noise of a fly in your ears. Aha, you are the one. Touch that ear. Lord Jesus Christ, He said in Matthew 15 13 that every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted up. I arrest and I bind this strange noise like a fly in these ears. I ask, Lord, that it be completely uprooted and cast into the dry land in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. You are also healed. We are waiting to hear your testimony. Dreams are very significant. Don't ever ignore your dreams. 
Anytime you have a dream, as soon as you wake up from the sleep, from the dream, just give me a chat narrating the dream. And by the grace of God, freely, I will interpret your dreams to you. This is Charles Adebola's Ministries. We are still on this teaching on dreams on money. Dreams on money. Someone said, man of God, I had a dream. And in my dream, I was given the currency that has higher rates comparing to the one of my country. Okay, I understand what you are saying. If you are given a currency that has higher rates uh, to the one spent to your country, maybe a currency like dollars, like pounds, or like euro. Well, it's a good dream. Yes, it is. It is a dream that substantial money is coming into your hand. Substantial money is coming into your hand. And let me give you one or two scriptures to use to pray. Psalm 132, verse 15. It says, I will abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her poor with bread. Amen. I will abundantly. God, the God we serve is the God of abundance. His name is Jehovah Jireh. is the great provider. In him there is abundance, there is excess, there is surplus. And here God has made a commitment. He said, I will abundantly bless her provision and I will satisfy her poor with bread. From today, you will begin to live in abundance. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. He says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Our God is the great supplier. There are no needs God cannot meet. Even if they run into millions or they run into billions, or even trillions. Do you know why? Because all the riches in glory belongs to him. I will come back to pray for you, and that will be after this announcement. Don't miss the prayer for anything. Please do resend to this audio broadcast to all your contacts and to the WhatsApp group you belong to. And if it has been someone resending it to you, Register directly with us for free so that we can be sending it more prompt to you. When you want to register, give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. By the grace of God, it's about twelve midnight every day that we send out fresh broadcast. If it is not yet delivered to your devices by 6 a.m., it's most likely to be the network issues. Just give us a chat. You are not bothering us. It is our joy to have it resent to you. Read Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. There God gave a commandment that you pay your tithe with the promise that you will open the windows of heaven and pour blessing upon you. Your tithe is 10% of your income and of your profit. We have numerous listeners who pay their tithe to this ministry, and I want to encourage you to begin to do likewise. Anytime you pray or you fast on any issues, and the answers are not forthcoming, don't get discouraged. Practice this biblical principle of backing up your prayers with sacrificial seed faith offering. What exactly is sacrificial seed faith offering? It is the expression of your faith and desperation before God. Read the book of Judges chapter 20. There you will find that God told the children of Israel to go into a battle. He promised to give them victory. They fasted and they prayed. Do you know they went to the battle twice and they were defeated until the third time when they added sacrifice to their prayers and fasting. Then God gave them victory. The ministry you are listening to, we are into massive work of evangelism and we do solicit for your 
voluntary financial support. You don't have to be a multi-millionaire nor a billionaire before you can support this ministry. There are those who support us regularly with 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, and even more. Whatever you can do is being appreciated. The beauty of it is that you can transfer your money of support to us in whatever currency is being spent in the country where you reside, whether Naira, dollars, pounds, or euro. When you need the bank details to do any of this, give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. Let me pray for you. Open your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I do decree that from now, huge money, bulky money, substantial money, the kind you have never had before in your life will begin to come into your hands. You will make profits. Money will meet money in your hands in Jesus' name.